Okay, so tell us about stage one, Silvano. Okay, stage one in a painting is the inspection. Okay. Now, when you inspect a paint, you use two, two, uh, two type of equipment, generally for a basic inspection, of course. Um, which one is magnifying glass to see the state of the paint. Okay. Uh, the crust, basically, if it's cracking, if it's, uh, if he has got any problem. Uh, the stage two is with the ultraviolet light. Now the ultraviolet light will give you a good idea of the, the, the quality of the paint, the, 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 the vanish, the overpainting areas, if any. And with these, when you see any overpainting, you can mark them with a little bit of chalk. And uh, just in case after you want to remove them, because uh, once you look at the overall painting, then you decide if the, 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 the overpainting is good enough or if you wish to replace it. This is really personal and this is up to the restorer. There is not really a rule. Uh, okay. Different school, different ideas, different way of restoring. Uh, 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 but that's it. This is it. And then once you've done that, yep. you give it a good clean, like with a, with a, a dust, dust brush, you know, very soft brush, you just get rid of all the, the surface dust. Okay. And that is the end of stage one. Do we, do we have an example of the dust brush, a yeah. dust brush here today? Well, that's what I use. I use this dust brush. I mean, you can use anything. I use this, which is badger, badger, badger hair. Wow. Uh, which is actually used in marbling and is a softener. Okay. It's called softener. And I use this and because it's so soft. Right. But it will take any surface dust. So that you make sure that once once you've done all this, you know, there is not any softy dust. And so when you are actually cleaning, you see exactly what is coming off the painting. And how many layers of how many years of dust do you think? We're on this painting when you first picked it up. Any oh, any way of knowing? No, no. no but no. this painting definitely was was. I think this painting was between 1850, 1870s, yeah. around that period. Um, I think these have been cleaned before, yeah. and they also have uh, overpainted before. Right. In some of them, quite extensively. Uh, we will go on to that later on when I will show you um, why I think that they've been uh, overpainted okay. uh, due to probably lack of technique or of know-how. That's okay. what it is. Okay, so uh, we've talked about preparation. Tell us about cleaning the painting, please. Okay, uh, cleaning a painting, as I said, um, uh, I think I mentioned this before, but in any case, cleaning the painting is about uh, um, get rid of as, as much dirt as possible without damaging any of the paint. Okay. Um, different chemical can be used, different uh, um, tools can be used also for mechanical cleaning. Uh, what we use for this particular painting is um, synthetic saliva and liquid soap. Okay. Uh, these two are very kind of uh, um, delicate, if you want to call it that way, uh, yes. paint, uh, cleaners. Uh, the the synth synthetic saliva is uh, basically what it says, it's saliva, uh, but, but obviously made in a laboratory. It's the same component of our own saliva and uh, is, a, is a lovely cleaner, quite versatile. Uh, the other one is uh, liquid soap. Liquid soap is uh, you can use on a variety of materials. Okay. Uh, get dilute, diluted with uh, with water uh, to the strength that you see, you know, uh, fit for fit, for the yeah. kind of uh, of job that you're doing. Um, what I do, is, what I've done for this painting, I use saliva and then I use a, a mixture of uh, liquid soap with saliva which makes it a slightly, like slightly stronger. The other uh, thing I use is this, uh, which is called polpa, and it's made with a, with a base, a powder, in the old days used to be flowers or corn flowers, or today we use uh, cellulose, cellula, cellulose, okay. yeah, I think in English, and uh, 
again you put the chemicals inside and what you do with this is uh, you, you, you create a paste that you apply on a particularly dirty area this has got to be really really careful when you're using this because it can damage the painting so you've got to keep uh, uh, an eye on it all the right. time and make sure that you don't over clean yes. the painting and you don't dissolve the, the paint uh, the technique is pretty simple once you know but what you're doing uh, is just uh, this is saliva, and here is some dirt. All you do is just rub it gently, very gently. Always look at the your cotton swab to make sure that no paint is coming off. Yes, and you just clean very carefully. So time consuming? Yes, yes it is, it is. It is a bit time consuming, you know, I sit here with my music and yeah. it's uh, very relaxing. Uh, if, if everything goes well, it can be very stressful if something goes wrong. But... Um, very obvious there, that on, as I'm looking at it, on the left hand side where you can see where it hasn't been cleaned yet. And yeah, then yeah, yeah, you can see that the line I'm going to make... Yeah. A, 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 must be very rewarding though. Yes, as yes, it certainly is because as I, as I, as I always say, this painting are becoming my paintings. Yeah. Um, I, I, look, I look at every little thing, every little, I see every little details. When I use the magnifying glass, I can see the way the artist used this brush on the painting. And uh, uh, it become it become personal, yes. uh, you know, uh, obviously, you know, if you have love for this kind of work, uh, you know, it becomes part of you and, uh, and uh, it is very rewarding once you, once they finish, once they are, they are up uh, yeah. on the wall and the people go and look at them and, you know, see them in their full glory, basically. Um, right, now, uh, every time you clean, uh, depending on what you're using, obviously in this case li using liquid soap, uh, a little bit of warm water just to, to stop um, the agent working. Okay, there you are. And do you dry as you go along as well? Or yes, just, yes, uh, yes, of course, the, the, you, you dry the water yeah. just very gently. Yeah. Uh, you dab. The technique is always better to dab rather than rub because yes. every time you're using the rubbing action you, you remove yes. um, particles of paint, even, even the, the smaller particles. And as I say, this painting in particular, they are, they are, the layer is very, very thin yes. and it's not, uh, uh, there is not a lot of paint before the wood, so you do have to be careful and they're quite flaky due to the you know, uh, humidity, uh, they've been subjected to humidity and heat, you know, and that's it, that's, that's what uh, the cleaning process is. As I said, in this case, for one instance, there was no varnish, uh, uh, therefore the, the, the dirt was on the actual paint. Right. Which is a shame because if there would have been a varnish, it would have been so much better and so much easier because the varnish, it would have removed the varnish and with the varnish, you would have removed all the dirt and it would have been a, 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 a much easier pro process and a, much, and a less uh, abrasive uh, yes. on the paint but uh, you know there is not much choice so do we have to get an happy medium and not over clean but at the same time we need to clean because uh, yeah you can see the difference uh, you can see the amount of dirt that there is on the painting at the moment what do you use to clean the, the gold Right, now the gold is a different material, so for the gold uh, we use a mixture of saliva and liquid salt, which is a bit, a bit of a stronger cleaner. Um, right, now what I'll do is I'll do a portion of this. Yeah, of fantastic. This. got to be careful that you being being stronger see the dirt oh there yes is? yeah that's coming off
And already you can see the, the huge difference that's made. Yes, yes, it is. Um, it makes an enormous difference. This is being uh, uh, 24 karat gold. It is stronger, but at the same time, it's very delicate because it is gold, and gold per se is a soft metal. It yeah. is not a hard metal. So you have to rub it very, very gently, and always, always, always look at your swab. Always, because if the color changes from the dark of the soot to a kind of a greenish color, that means you are actually taking off the, taking gold. the gold away. You are not taking any more, and that's that's it. So now, if you come from this side and you see it, probably from the light, ah, oh. you can see more magnificent the difference yes. between the two. Wonderful.